Hello, welcome to Richard's Report for Tuesday, December 14, 2021. In the report today, Chinese juke now available in Jamaica. Pregnant woman shot dead downtown. Jamaica LGBT asylum seeker finds safe place in the US. Gay man accused police of harassment. Cops hunt unlicensed guard after shooting. If you want to send me a video or a story to cover, you can WhatsApp me at 876-538-5174 or email religiousqna at gmail.com. I'm Richard and just before the details, I want to say a happy birthday to my little brother Dexter. Yeah, bless up yourself. And now the details. You can now receive a Chinese vax against the Big C. The Ministry of Health and Wellness is inviting people who are 18 years and older to book an appointment to receive the first of two doses of the Sinopharm vax. China National Pharmaceutical Group Corporation, commonly referred to as Sinopharm, is a Chinese state-owned enterprise. In a release on Monday, the ministry said the joke rollout follows the arrival of a shipment on November 27, 2021 from the People's Republic of China. Sinopharm will be made available at select sites island-wide. It said, the Sinopharm joke has been proven safe and effective in preventing severe illness, hospitalization and death associated with Big C, the ministry said. A two-dose joke, it requires a period of three to four weeks between doses. The ministry added, directing people to its website for details on Sinopharm. So now, I would think it's the best thing since sliced bread because it, as I said in a previous video, China don't reach 100k, 100,000 cases yet. And they were at 80,000 cases last year, um, last year March when Jamaica got its first case and they have the largest population so something not adding up a man was rushed to the Cornwall Regional Hospital in Montego Bay St. James after being shot in the chest by an unofficial security guard following an argument allegedly over a woman yeah what else would, would it be about the Freeport police have not um, released the identity of the guard who is reportedly on the run Reports are that shortly after 9 a.m. last Friday, the victim, who is employed to a farm store, got involved in a dispute with the security guard, allegedly over a female. It is further reported that the dispute developed into a physical confrontation, after which the guard brandished a handgun and shot the man in the region of his chest. The guard reportedly fled the location. The wounded man was rushed to hospital where he was treated and admitted in critical condition. <laughs> Yo, my boss, me get to understand, say, them are cuss over a girl. And next thing we know, Siki, the security guard, pulled a gun and shot the youth. Another employee informed us, Yo, we never even sit when Siki run out of the store because from the shot, them start fire. Me and the rest of the worker, them just have to run out and take cover. One police source said that the investigation have not yet taken the... One police source said that investigators have not yet taken the shooter into custody and also the firearm used to commit the offense is believed to be an illegal one investigators are still in search of the security who we have learned have recently been hired at the location the officer stated we are also carrying out a series of investigations into the weapon used in the shooting and so far we have, we have reasons to believe that it was an illegal firearm. The officer said that based on investigation, it is believed that the guard is neither formally employed to the security company nor is he a licensed firearm owner. 
traffic is now being diverted from Orange Street in downtown Kingston following the murder of a pregnant woman. The incident has drawn the attention of scores of curious onlookers. The 26-year-old woman, Shativa Griffins, worked at a liquor store on Orange Street. She was killed at the intersection of Haywood and Orange Street. The motive was not um, immediately ascertained. Now, I have images of the girl in a pool of red Kool-Aid, so I can't put that on here. But um, if you check me on IG, uh, Religious Reasoning, or WhatsApp 876-538-5174, and tell me you want the pregnant woman photo, if you want to see it. As I said, no one knows the motive, but that's two lives that have been taken, you know. So any updates I get, I'll pass on. The church volunteers assembled furniture and hung decoration in the newly renovated apartment building. They laid out nearly every necessity, down to the bar towels, bed linen, cooking supplies and televisions. Over Thanksgiving weekend, the first resident of the home in Worcester, Massachusetts, moved in three gay men oh my god seeking asylum in the u.s <laughs> you see why god vex <laughs> boy i tell you i don't even have the words said alane spike 26 year old who fled jamaica after being continually harassed and threatened by a local gang for being gay to to come into a country and have a safe place to escape all the hard dicks, I mean hardship and the trauma, not everyone has that opportunity. A Massachusetts church group that uniquely focused on support for immigrants fleeing their country due to sexual orientation has opened a new permanent home for lesbian, gays, bisexual and transgender asylum seekers. My God, come down and save us, please. The LGBT Asylum Seekers Task Force, a ministry of Hadwen Park Congregational Church in Worcester, raised more than 500,000 US to purchase and renovate a dilapidated three story former group home on the city's well healed west side. It is the ministry's biggest investment and admit long running efforts to help the LGBT um, immigrants, said Al Green, the task force director. The group typically houses asylum seekers in rented apartments through New England's second largest cities. But as the effort has grown over the years, it's become challenging to, con to coordinate services and fostering community among the new immigrants, he said. So now on, an, on another LGBT story, gay man accused police of harassment. Jerome, a gay man visiting home, claims that he and his partner were stigmatized and harassed by some members of the security forces on the weekend. Jerome, who lives in Europe, said that he and his partner landed in Jamaica November 26. So, you know, you know, they should have left the same day. Last Saturday, they were driving in a section of Kingston when they were signaled to stop by a security team. He said they were given attitude by the lawmen from the start. Yeah, they told us to put our hands behind our head. And while I was doing it, one of the police was wearing a ski mask at the time began hurling insult at us. My partner is feminine, so they were calling us all type of name, and one of them used his gun to push me, he said. We were discriminated against because we were gay. They were very hostile after they told us to step out of the vehicle. They were calling us, nah, Mr. 
among other things and I kept asking why they were treating us like the, like that because we weren't being disrespectful. The 29 year old law student said the police asked him for his documents but when he submitted his European driver's license and passport they told him that the documents were fake and said he would be arrested. By this time they would have searched up my belongings and saw that I had money. The officer took my documents, went inside a tent and came back and whispered, you know how the thing said? I asked him what he meant and he said, give, me, give it 200 euro and we'll let you go, let you go on. He said, Jerome said he refused to pay and the cops threatened to arrest him to arrest them and impound the vehicle. Jerome also alleged that when passers-by became aggressive towards him and his partner, the police did not intervene. He said that it was only after he started to record the event on his phone and threatened to file a lawsuit that the lawman began to act professional, but not before asking again for a 200 euro tip. He said he and his partner were eventually released without charge. Jerome vows never to come to Jamaica ever again. Good riddance. I had left Jamaica seven years ago because of the discrimination I faced as a gay man. But I thought I was I thought it was different now. I have been stopped by the police before and I was never discriminated by them until Saturday. Not only did I feel really embarrassed, but I felt really afraid. He said, Jerome said that he reported the matter to the Police Inspectorate and Professional Standard Oversight Bureau. Yeah man, don't come, at, don't come back to Jamaica. Stay in Europe with you. Yeah. Where the woman them over Europe, the woman them have to be running naked in the streets because the men them turn, turn to bottom. No, there is none of them to get them pregnant. See this new sexual harassment bill? It have a cause the same thing in Jamaica, you know? You can't just stay there. Watch. Just wait and watch, man. So, that's it for today. Like and comment. What do you think? Do you think these illegal guys should have an easy time in Jamaica? Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next one.